Happy holidays! Today we are making bow ties. Here are some things you will need. A hot glue gun, a pair of scissors, a pen, fabric of your choice, I have this one, and some binding tape. And we're also going to use this tie pattern. Mine actually measures 12 and a half centimeters long and 4 centimeters wide. I've cut this out out of a sturdier box just so we can use it to trace on our milk carton. And we're also going to use this little piece which actually measures 4 centimeters and a half by um, another 4 centimeters. All right, so this is our milk carton. Um, it's already been washed out and dried out. The brand doesn't really matter. All we need is the, well, the material it's made out of. So we're just going to open it up and I'm just going to cut. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what you're watching. Alright, so now that it's all nice and flat, what we're actually going to do is use this cardboard pattern that I've already made and we're just going to trace it onto the milk carton using our pen. So we're just going to line one up with the other so that when we make one cut, we actually are starting to cut the other part of the second tie. This way, you know, we can save as much as material as we need and we can actually fit more ties onto the piece of uh, cardboard that we're using. So depending on the size of the recycled material that you're using is the amount of um, ties you're actually going to get, you know, out of that um, cardboard. You can use cereal boxes, milk cartons, shoe boxes. You know, anything that you can recycle is always a plus. And something else I want to add that this size of a bow tie is, you know, a, about for a Shih Tzu, a small, up to a toy poodle, um, maybe some pugs, you know, small to medium dogs. So if you have a larger dog, such as a Golden Retriever, a Labrador, a German Shepherd, those kinds of dogs, maybe you want to go up until, let's see, let's take out our ruler. Maybe up to even to 25 to 30 centimeters long of a tie. So it really depends on what look you're going for and I have found that if you use too large of a tie on a dog it actually makes them look kind of clownish clownish ish so you know the smaller I guess the better all right so now that we have this we are going to cut them out using our handy dandy scissors you never want to use fabric scissors on any other material that isn't fabric. So these are just some DIY scissors I use around the house. I know I'm doing this on my tub. I usually wouldn't do this on my tub, but um, apparently it's it has the best lighting in there. So, um, yeah. So since we traced them and lined them up nicely, when it's time to cut these patterns out, it's actually really easy. I hope this video gets uploaded before New Year's. You guys know it takes forever for my videos to load. Anyway, um, I just thought it would be really nice, nice DIY to make for your own dogs or make for your clients. I usually wouldn't do this. Um, type of bow tie for my everyday client you guys know I, I do my own handkerchiefs for that or bandanas or whatever you call them um, but this is more of a special occasion so that you know when their owners take pictures of them and the holidays you know they can get a nice um, presentable formal-ish 
you know, a picture of their own pet. So I think it's a nice detail. You will also need two triangles, large-ish. It doesn't really matter the size. It's just for to simulate the color of the Thai ensemble. And I didn't wrap those in fabric because, well, they're supposed to be white. A color is supposed to be white, so. So we're just going to roughly measure how much fabric we need. All right, so now we're going to place the tie um, silver side down so that, you know, if your fabric is a little sheer, it won't, the, um, the printed side of your milk carton won't see through your sheer fabric. So here we go. We're just hot glue gun gunning this fabric onto the tie. Be careful. You can easily bring your fingers. So be very careful. So I'm just going to cut off any remaining fabric just so it doesn't, you know, seem so bulky after we're done. Don't worry about it not being perfect right now. It doesn't really have to be perfect. All we want to do is cover that front part of our tie. Now we're going to do the same thing on this smaller piece, silver side down, so that the printed part of your milk carton doesn't see through your fabric. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to cover up the back side with more fabric so it doesn't look all, you know, mumbo jumbo -ish. Hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one. So just make sure to stick anything that pops up. In, if you've seen my other video, my bandana video, you can tell this is the same fabric. It's new fabric, but you can always, always use, um, you know, recycled scraps that you may have laying around in your home. This is just what I had, so... All right, so using the fabric that was left over from the smaller piece, we're actually going to use that to cover up the back side of our tie just so that it looks more finished. And we're just going to put some hot glue gun on the edge. Make sure it's not too close to the edge so that we can cut it off and, you know, it won't, um, and you can't see it from the front because this is the back. So we're just going to trim off any excess fabric as so. Now what we're going to do is actually measure out how much binding tape we will need 
this is what we will use to um, tie the tie the tie around your dog's neck. So I've used 40 centimeters because, well, as I said, these are for smallish dogs, you know. But if you're in, if you are unsure, you can always measure your dog's, you know, neck because some dogs like poodles have a leaner kind of neck and you know pugs have a more fatter kind of neck so if you're not sure always make sure to measure before you cut and again with some leftover fabric that we've used before I'm just going to do the same thing on the smaller piece stick it and then just trim around the edges So you see by putting the back fabric on the tie and the little piece, it really makes it come together and makes it look more neat and not so bunched up in the back. So we're almost done. All we have to do now is just stick everything together with the hot glue gun and we're going to stick the tie under the little piece. Well, when you look at it from the back, it's actually on top. But um, now we're going to use our two triangles and we're going to use the longer side of the triangle so that we can stick it onto the little piece. I actually put in a little too much glue and it came through the front, so be careful with that. Let's grab our binding tape. So there's two ways to do this. You can either use the whole binding tape to wrap around your dog's neck, like I said earlier, or you can just, you know, make a little loop so you can stick this little bow tie um, in their collar. It just really depends on what you're looking for and how you're going to use this bow tie. But since, you know, not my... Not all of my clients come in with a collar. Some come in with a um, full body harness kind of thing. You know, I like to use the binding tape as a, you know, to wrap around their, their neck. All right, guys, so that's all for this video. Doesn't that look so cute? And it looks even better on them. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope you have some wonderful holidays and make sure to check out my other videos if you like what you're watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like this video. Happy grooming and stay safe out there. Bye!